This one thing could have ruined Mandalorian season one, disrupted the rise of XR virtual production, cost the production millions in post. And it's just these stupid lines that appear when you shoot a camera at a screen. It's a modern art that's based on this effect. You know what I mean, right? Have you ever tried to film your TV screen with your phone? You'll get these weird repeating pattern crossover things. The lines, this aliasing, has a technical name. It's called Moray, and it is the silent killer of virtual production. You see, this happens in cameras because the repeating lines or patterns exceed the camera's resolution. And yeah, some of these patterns look pretty cool, but when you're trying to film something, that's just not what you want to see. And in comes XR virtual production, the art of shooting a camera at a screen, essentially. Now with the rise of LED volumes, this is paramount. This could kill your production. So how do we avoid more A while we're shooting virtual production? How do we stop these stupid lines? Now I'll answer that question in just a second, but first let's break down the screens that make the LED volume. And before we do that, don't forget to subscribe. All right, so these volumes are built of individual LED tiles with individual pixels in each tile. The space between pixels is called the pixel pitch. The higher the pixel pitch, the greater the space between pixels is. Now really high pixel pitches are good for concerts and billboards, but we're trying to film in-camera VFX here. Remember, let's dumb down the science of it all. The lower the pixel pitch, the closer each pixel is together and the closer we can bring the camera to the LED wall. And yes, there are formulas you can plug in to get the exact distance you can bring that camera to the wall, but to stay safe, a good rule of thumb is 20 feet away. All right, three quick ways to solve Moray in extended reality virtual production. Let's go. Number one, just don't focus on the screen. If you focus on the pixels, then the more will show into the sensor of the camera. Keep the focus locked on the actors and not so much on the horizon, which leads to point two. Shoot at a shallow depth of field. The more depth you have in your shot, the less the more will translate to your camera's sensor. And finally, number three, take a step back. If you're catching that more, bring the camera back a little bit, reposition your shot, and if it's still there, just take another step back. These are the quick tips you need when you can't recalibrate the screen. But here's the kicker. As this technology grows and gains popularity, companies are making walls with a lower pixel pitch so we can bring the camera closer to the wall. But you guessed it, they're more expensive. Like, way, way more expensive. But think of what this does on the filmmaking side of it. It gives you more real estate to shoot on in the volume. And technically with a smaller buffer zone, you can get away with the smaller stage with less tiles, therefore spending less money on tiles. But if you look at who's buying these screens, they're not just indie productions yet. They're big, big productions. You may have heard of some of them. John Favreau himself even chose to shoot The Mandalorian season one on anamorphic to blend the pixels together, therefore giving less moray. And as for The Mandalorian's post-production costs, we have an anonymous inside source that tells us, yes, it cost them a lot of money to fix. Star Wars almost ruined us. <laughs> We almost had to close the theme park. Seriously though, it did cost them a ton of money. So I guess this leaves us with the same problem as traditional production. You can get away with the good stuff, but with the great stuff, you can make magic. Thanks for watching this week's video. I'm Josh, you're watching Copilot. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.